Hi, welcome to 151 Garage. I'm Sean. I'm Jill. And today we have some information. We got an email from Ford. Not the email we wanted, but... Not our build. Yeah, not our builds. Not either one of them. Uh, we'll get those sometime. God forbid they give it to us before the end of the year, but... Yeah, it'll be 2024. We'll 2022, hopefully. Now, what we did get is a email stating information or a short clip about the Bronco Raptor. So, in our last video, as we stated, it was supposed to be about the Bronco Raptor or the Warthog. They were looking at probably naming it the Warthog. It didn't happen. Yeah. Right now... Sorry. <laughs> Hot topics right there. <laughs> and breaking news. Breaking news. And with that, we stated the fact that we didn't think it was going to come out till 2023. We thought it would be kind of silly to have it come out in 2022 because they're still having problems putting out the regular Bronco and you know, to include a another version of the Bronco it would be Kind of silly. But we don't know exactly when this is coming out. I mean, this is all just like leaks and spy shots that we're going to give you here in a minute. Yeah. So, it is not called a warthog. They, it looks like they are running with the raptor theme. And, and it doesn't look like they're going to try and keep Bronco as a separate identity. Yeah, it looks so like they're, they're that's a myth together. as well. That's a rumor that's not going to be happening as well. So we'll go ahead and go through. I'll show you the the clips of the pictures, and we'll show you what we see. It is a three-second clip or shorter, but there is significant amount of information on that clip or in those pictures that actually show you what the Bronco Raptor is going to look like. Yeah. So we'll cut to the first, the first picture. So first the fender flares, the fender flares are actually pretty beefy. They stick out quite a bit further than your normal one. There is also a lip from the fender flare that goes onto the body of the car. Now with the fender flare, we've noticed it does have flat spots. It is not perfectly round like the current, Bronco itself. It does not share the same contour in the fender at least. It looks like it kind of has uh, flat spots in the front and a flat spot kind of on the top. We're not sure exactly. There is a later portion of the video that shows uh, it driving down the road or driving down the dirt road. It's really quick and you can almost see a flat portion of the top portion of that fender flare. Yeah. Along with the fender flare, the fender is actually wider. So if you've never seen a Ford Raptor, and I'm sure most people have, where the grill stops, the fender actually sticks out a little bit further. So there is a gap or there is a section in the front that the fender actually extends past the grill and then goes down the body of the car. This actually is pretty significant because our Bronco, as soon as the fender stops, or as soon as the grill stops, the fender is immediately right there. It stays in contour with the, the front portion of the grill. This does not do that. No, it so, sticks out quite a bit. Quite a bit. Also, along with the fender, it shows the lack of any kind of body lines. Now, as you can see right here, I'll put a line on the video of where that body line is on a normal Bronco. This doesn't show any of that whatsoever. That means that fender is sticking out quite a bit. They didn't want to put a body line. It does have a completely different fender on it. Again, all we see is the quarter view that, you know, that they show us. Now, fourth, it's hard to see it. It is very, very hard to see because of the way the, the picture is. But it looks like there's either a vent or a badge or some sort of thing on the side of the fender by the mirror. Because it looks like it humps out. On the Ford Raptor, on the top rear portion of the fender, there's usually a vent or a grill on the back side. You can see it on the current Ford Raptor. 
I suspect this is going to be similar or some kind of badging for the Raptor logo or something like that. The reason I can tell this is because there is two different reflections of the same mirror on the fender. If it was a solid contour all the way through, you wouldn't see that different reflections on the same contour. It would be one reflection all the way through. You can kind of see it broken between the fender and the, uh, the light or the uh, mirror itself. Yeah. Now, next is the grill. We'll move to the grill right now. So this is actually pretty, pretty interesting. So everybody knows the Ford Raptor has the three lights in the front. And the three lights signify that the vehicle is so wide. Say, for instance, like a dually or such. Uh, semis, duallys, something that's so wide, they have to put extra markers on there to signify it's wider than normal. It is a law, that's why they had to do it, that's why it was on the Ford Raptor, and I suspect that's why they have to have it here, because it is gonna be a wider vehicle. Now, you can also tell that there is a enormous Ford logo on the front. This is significant for two things. One, Ford is not trying to separate the Bronco from Ford, or else they wouldn't put a huge Ford logo on the front. Also, you will no longer have a Bronco logo on the front. It will say Ford for obvious reasons. They is a Ford Raptor Bronco version or whatever. Now, whether you like it or not, that's the grill you want. I also see the same design as the Ford F Raptors, the regular F-150 Raptors, yeah. the same type of grill design they have with the, the, uh, octagon or the hexagons inside of it and our f-350 had that grill yeah so also the last thing before we come back is the amber halos on the broncos they're all white with the amber light going through it uh the dash going through it this one shows the entire halo and the dash all in amber uh-huh that's actually pretty cool that will show you exactly what you have really quick and not have to go oh somebody just added lights to it the interesting thing about the amber halos and amber lights is the fact that there is no white light around it so how they do the running lights i don't know because the running lights i believe on ours are the halo lights they're not the actual running lights or the actual lights themselves I'm kind of curious how that's going to work. Well, I'm wondering, you know how you have your park lights and they're orange? Yeah. I'm wondering if that's going to be like your park light because in the United States, you can't have dual lights, like a white and an amber at the same time. It's either going to be one or the other. It's like the Dodge Challenger. You see them when they turn on their turn signal, the white light goes away and it turns amber for the turn signal because they can't compete. They can't battle each other in the yeah. same bezel so it's either one or the other not together so i'm thinking this is probably going to be like a park light or something like that where if you turn it on to park those amber lights will come on and then when yeah. you turn on to daylight running lights or your headlights they turn white that is, because they cannot have competition it's either one or the other that is kind of interesting because that would be a that would be something that would be unusual is to not have the running lights like they have in every other vehicle. The halo light is your running light. Now, the last thing I wanted to say before I forget is the color. The color oh, yeah. you see is a specific Ford Raptor only color. It is code orange, which is only available in the Ford Raptor. Mm -hmm. That's significant because everything so far points towards it being called the Raptor. They didn't yeah. officially call it the Raptor, but everything going along with what looks like the Ford Raptor, it looks like it's going to be called that, which is fine. Uh, that's fine. I would love the, the Warthog, but I think it's actually pretty uh, significant for us and pretty cool for us to actually get the Bronco Raptor 2022 well, and then at the end, after you see the close-up of the Bronco and then that really quick clip of it going down the dirt road or the dusty area of the desert, right after all that, there's a badge that says Raptor. 
Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll link the video down below. It's really quick. If you haven't seen it, it is down the link. Also, the email, uh, copy and paste the email in the bottom as well. That way you can see exactly what it shows and also the video itself. Now, we do like the idea of the Raptor. We wish it would be the Warthog. Uh, we love it. We are curious to see what else. As far as us getting one, I can see an enormous amount of begging, pleading, sucking up, and doing all sorts of chores beyond what your normal thing is. But I'll have to let her know my answer later on when I see more pictures. So we are getting the Badlands. The only thing we would possibly change is the black diamonds yeah but that would be definitely an interesting addition to our fleet of broncos we'll keep an eye on the bronco raptor information whatever highway that comes through we will brief you we will contact uh, some of the people to find out more information and to see what we can figure out ourselves also if we get extra pictures or extra videos of it we'll come back and and tell you guys and link them as well now if you guys want to keep informed with us or keep informed by us we'll gladly give you all the information we find and pass it on to you guys but please like subscribe hit the notification bell and you know hope to see you next video and hopefully 2022 we'll get our Badland, and, at least. And maybe a uh, raptor. Maybe. If she's nice, I'll get her a raptor. <laughs> if so. anything, I'll just take her Badland. At least I have a stick that she can't drive. Yet. That she, three clutches later. I can teach myself how to drive a stick. I've done it before. Not on my clutch. Anyways, see you next video. Bye. Bye.